Hi, in this video we're going to look at multiplying a decimal by a whole number. So, so let's work out the following without using a calculator. So 5.97 times 5 and b 0 0.089 times 7. Okay, so in this case we need to do 5.97 times 5. So just going to estimate the answer first. Now, 5.97, that's pretty close to 6. So we could work out approximately, and this is what this symbol means, approximately equal to... If we make that number here a 6, and we work out 6 times 5, and we know the answer is 30 to that. So we can say that this is approximately equal to 30. That just gives us an idea what the answer should be when we actually do the uh, process of multiplying these two things together. So we've got 5.97 times 5. Don't worry about the decimal point to begin with, and we draw in our lines here. So we're going to do 5 times 7, which is 35, so it's 5, carry the 3. 5 times 9, which is 45, plus the 3 will make 8, and we'll need to carry the 4. We don't need to put a decimal point in at this stage yet. And then 5 times 5 is 25, plus the 4, which makes 29. Right, now you can see here we've got 29.85, so obviously the answer is going to be 29.85. But there's a little rule that we can consider. So the answer has the same number of figures after the points as there is in the numbers being multiplied together. So there's no decimal point here. So there's no number here, but there are two. So we need to move in one, two. So my decimal point needs to go here, which makes sense with my estimation as well. So the final answer is 5.95 times 5 is 29 0.85. Right, now we're going to do 0 0.089 times 7. So what could we use for the estimate for this? So we should estimate at first using 0 0.1. This is near to 0 0.1. This 8 will make that 0 or 1. So it's approximately equal to 0 0.1 times 7, which is, you know that you move the decimal point one place, uh, sorry, one place that way. So that will make it 0 0.7. So this should be roughly near somewhere 0 0.7. So doing setting the answer out, 0 0.089 times 7. Don't worry about the decimal point to begin with. So do 7 times 9, which is 63. So it's 3. Carry the 6. 7 times 8, which is uh, 56, plus the 6. Plus the 6 uh, makes... Um, 62, so it's 2 carry the 6, and then we've got 0 times 7, which is nothing, but we've got a 6 here, so we need to put that in, and then we have three figures, so there's no point going forward because 7 times 0 is 0, so the three figures after the decimal point in each question, so there are three figures in the answer. We have 1, 2, 3, nothing from here, so it's three figures, so my decimal point will go 1, two, three, and here I need to put a decimal point and add in a zero, of course. So the answer will be 0 0.623, which is fairly close to 0 0.7. So 0 0.089 times seven is equal to 0 0.623. So this has been a video to show you how to multiply a decimal by a whole number. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.